all right, this problem right here is a piecewise function, but really all it is is a rational function. Because this, all of this is telling you right here on the bottom, the second half of this piece is 1 point, 0 comma negative 1. And this right here is a rational function. And guess what they're probably going to have? This, what happens a lot of times in rational functions? You have vertical asymptotes, but you also have what? Holes. So watch what happens when I factor out an x in the top and the bottom. What can I do with this x that I just factored out? I can cancel it out. And what does that x that I just canceled out represent? On my graph, what does it represent? It represents a hole. I'm going to have some, some graph like this. And at 0, I'm going to have a hole. That's what that that's what factoring out factoring and canceling represents in a rational function. It represents a whole. Now this right here, does that the question is this, does that zero comma negative one fill in the hole? Does it fill in the hole? Yeah. I don't know. Let's figure it out. When I plug in, what what would you expect when now when I plug in, see look, am I allowed to plug in zero into this now? Can I plug 0 into this function right here? Is it okay to plug 0 in, to plug 0 into this new function once I fact cancel out an x? Can I plug in 0? Yeah. I can. And when I plug in 0, what do I get? Negative 1. Let's call it f prime. F, like, let's call f prime. f prime of 0. Now when I plug that in, I get negative 1. Whoa, would you look at that? That's exactly what they're filling in right there. So what did they just do to this graph? They turned this function right here. Was I allowed to plug in 0 into that top original f of x? Was I allowed to plug it in there? No. Am I allowed to plug it in y? When I plug in 0 to all the x's, what would I get? 0 over zero, 0, over zero which is indeterminate. Can't do that. It's illegal to do. But when I plug 0 into this new function, once I cancel out those x's, now I get an, an answer. I get the answer of negative 1. So the question is this. And uh, the question probably was going to ask something like, is this function continuous? Yes. And the answer is yes. But it's con at, continuous at zero. It, now, it might, ask, um, it might ask it in a different way. This would be like a, a question that would be asked on, a, say, an honors exam. It would probably say something like, um, what's another way to write the equa this equation f of x in simpler terms? And the answer would be this right here. x squared plus 3 all over x minus 3, let's call that g of x, is the exact same function as f of x. They're the exact same. Because the only difference, if I didn't do this right here, is I would have a hole in it. But I filled in the hole with that piecewise definition, that second half of the definition. So that's what that question's asking.